Council failed to scale second reading at the floor of the Senate. The bill aimed at overseeing and regulating the nation's rural transport sector and countered staunch opposition during deliberations at the Senate plenary. Our correspondent, Osam Rafo, has details. The proponent of the bill, the Senate's chief whip, Senator Tahir Mungono, along other senators, argued that such a council would streamline operations, enhance safety standards, and promote efficiency across the transport network. It, Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, in order to address these multifaceted challenges, this bill seeks to establish the National Road Transport Council as the overarching regulatory body for the road transport sector. The Council will be tasked with the following key responsibilities. Policy formulation, develop an overarching national road transport policy that harmonizes and complements existing regulation, fills gaps, and resolves conflicts between current policies, and develops comprehensive policy that address the needs of both urban and rural road users, and creates a legal platform to coordinate and regulate the activities of multi-sectoral road users, associations and unions. This is a bill that is in the right direction and I hope everybody will give the necessary support to it. Mr. President, if we want to save the life of Nigerians on the roads, plying our roads, which we know how good it is, Will let us pass this bill. Mr. President, if we want to protect the life of Nigerians, ensure that untimely death is prevented. It is our duty. Let us pass this bill. For efficiency of the road transport sector, proper policy formation, Mr. President, let us pass this bill. Thank you, Mr. President. However, Senator Victor Ome, along with other critics, voiced concerns over potential bureaucratic inefficiencies and the proposed council scope of authority. There are agencies of government in place to regulate these activities. So I'm not uh, opposing the bill because I don't like uh, uh, the thing, but I, I read it, if you look at the, the functions of the National Road Transport Council, you see that uh, most of them are vague. If you read all this is now, you see they are vague in content. Lack of comprehensive policy framework, this is vague. Inadequate insurance coverage, there's no measure for this. Poor regulation and oversight. Who is oversighting and who is uh, regulating? And all that. So I've gone through it and I believe the best thing to do is to ensure that the agencies in place should be strengthened to do their work. Let us in line with the current spirit of cutting down costs to meet other more challenging expenses. We don't need to create agency for everything. Because like he said, uh, the last week, uh, Senator Agadaga, who supported my sister, Natasha, that we may end up tomorrow, if there's an accident in a boat, we set up a waterways transfer commission. And then rail, we will set up rail uh, transportation commission. I move, sir, that we kill this motion here. You should not go through second reading. Following an extended session marked by impassioned speeches and procedural maneuvers, the bill fell short of securing the necessary vote to be read the second time. When the matter was put to a voice vote by the President of the Senate, Senator Godswill Apabio. Those in support that this bill be now read a second time say aye. <laughs> and those again say nay. <laughs> The, the name is having. <laughs> Meanwhile, a bill seeking the establishment of local government independent electoral commission scale first reading at the Senate. Awesome Raffle, ADBN News.